Hello everyone, it's Alina. Welcome to my Soap General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital's spoilers report for Tuesday, March 19, indicates that Jocelyn Jacks told Carly Spencer that she broke up with Dex Heller for good this time and explained the whole Cyrus Reynolds scenario. Carly thought Jocelyn needed to take some time and acquire some perspective. Dex was in an impossible position, but Jocelyn thought there was no excuse for coming after a helpless old guy in the hospital. Although Jocelyn resented Nina Corinthos for opening her eyes, she was grateful Nina did since she knew the real Dex now. Jocelyn eventually inquired if Jason Morgan used to kill for Sonny, so Carly appeared hesitant to answer and indicated Joss couldn't put herself in Dex or Jason's shoes. The conditions were never straightforward when it came to Sonny's company, but Carly stated if Jason killed someone, it was because they were going to kill him. Jocelyn felt like Carly would stand with Jason no matter what, but that's not how she felt about Dex. Carly accepted Jocelyn's decision to walk away once she saw things she was reluctant to compromise on, but she realized it wasn't easy and pulled her daughter into an embrace. At the police station, Dex showed up for a meeting with Anna Devane and said he'd like to confess to the attempted murder of Cyrus Renault. After confirming that he was acting on Sonny's directions, Dex revealed the complete scenario of being hired by Michael Corinthos and then coming back to Michael and Carly with more helpful intentions once the plot altered. Dex also admitted that he scored evidence of Sonny transferring illicit weaponry for pikemen at one time. Once Dex shared the news that Sonny ordered the hit, he described how he was planning to inject fentanyl into Cyrus' pick line until Sonny changed his mind. Dex was prepared to pay for his deeds, but Anna pointed out Nina wasn't going to testify against him, and Cyrus couldn't speak on Dex's reasons in his chamber. The most Dex could get would be conspiracy charges, but it'd be his word against Sonny's. Anna said that Sonny would have Dex assassinated, therefore she wasn't going to allow Dex sacrifice his life over prosecution that would go nowhere. With that in mind, Anna maintained this conversation never happened. Justice wouldn't be served this time, but Anna appreciated Dex coming in and trying. As Dex left out the door, he advised Anna to keep him in mind if she ever needed any help taking down Sonny. At Charlie's pub, Christina Corinthos Davis had Sonny smiling about some humorous memories involving Dante Falconeri and convinced him of what a terrific dad he was. When Natalia Ramirez arrived in, she welcomed Christina and got an introduction to Sonny. The three of them sat down together since Natalia needed aid after botching things with Blaze Aka Allison Rogers again. Since Sonny was so supportive of Christina and Blaze's relationship, Natalia wondered whether it was always this simple for him. Sonny questioned what Natalia meant, so she stated having a daughter that's LGBT and being oak with it. Sonny basically said that you had to give your kids space to become the individuals they wanted to be, thus Natalia thought Christina was fortunate to have this man as her dad. Christina said Sonny always made her feel comfortable, like she could do anything, and she sincerely wanted Ali shared that with Natalia. At GH, John Cates quizzed Elizabeth Baldwin about Jason since they had history and shared a child, but Liz denied having any contact. Liz again highlighted the notion that Jason might not be guilty, but John wanted to remind her that she could be facing federal charges if she was lying about sheltering a fugitive. Willow Corinthos eavesdropped nearby and seemed agitated before taking off. After Danny showed back up at the Quartermain boathouse, he did some bonding with Jason as he opened up about some of his hobbies and plans. Willow returned and got rid of Danny in a hurry before giving Jason a fresh bandage and medication. Jason could sense Willow seemed disturbed, so she complained about him engaging Danny since Agent Cates was asking so many questions including the ones he asked Liz at the hospital. Jason promised Willow that he was going to safeguard everyone supporting him and make it like it never happened. Although Jason wasn't sure where he'd go once he was healthy enough, he only wanted to do the least amount of harm to everyone, especially Danny. Back at GH, 
Aiden Weber told Liz that Jake Weber was certain that Jason was to blame for what happened to Dante. Jake was lashing out at Aiden, no matter how he tried to manage things, so Liz decided to talk to him. When Harrison Chase appeared, Jake questioned if Chase thought Jason was responsible. Chase claimed Jason was innocent until proven guilty, but Jake believed that was simply a usual phrase and wanted more of an opinion. After Chase admitted the evidence pointed to Jason, he also recognized that Jason seemingly called 911 and performed first assistance. Liz pointed out that if Jason was to blame for Dante's injuries, then he'd have to pay, and she wouldn't let Jake shoulder the weight of his father's decisions. At the Quartermain home, John stunned Danny by showing there and asking questions about his dad. Danny nervously lied about not having contact with Jason until Brooke Lynn interfered and ripped into John for trying to intimidate a youngster without a parent or guardian present. Once Brooke Lynn got rid of John, she gave Danny the ELQ attorney's number and told him not to freestyle with the cops, except for Chase. After John made it back to his suite at the Metro Court, Anna showed up at his door with some wine and said she owed him a drink. General hospital spoilers suggest Anna and John seem prepared to fully gang up against Sonny, so stick with us for updates on all our mob mayhem predictions. Back home, meanwhile, John wanders into the house to ambush Danny with inquiries. Yuri allowed him in, good guy. Danny swears he hasn't heard anything from Jason, but John has a harder time believing that. It's not like I knew the guy before he was gone, the kid responds. I don't know why he's back, but I can tell you it's not because of me. Brooke Lynn comes in and urges Danny to go, then calls Agent Cates a disgrace to his badge. Thank God, Yuri phoned her before he frightened Danny without parental supervision. John attempts defending himself, but BL Key starts laying into him and urges him to get the hell out before he gives her any more cause to sue. John apologizes and instructs her to apologize to Danny and Yuri, then slinks out. Brooke Lynn encourages Danny to come out, and he bounds out from where he was hiding with a big smile. You were awesome. Thank you. BLQ tells him to never talk to the cops without a lawyer, then she puts down the ELQ attorney's number. And do yourself a favor and practice the quarter main code. Be nice, but do not freestyle with the cops, no matter how polite they seem. In the show's concluding seconds, Willow claims Jason will be oak in a day or two wonders what's next. He confesses he's not sure. Aiden, meanwhile, wants to know what his mom will tell Jake. The truth, she says. That Jason did this, and it's bad and feeling sorry is the correct way to feel about it. But it's not his fault for being Jason's son. Carly, meanwhile, claims that she supports Jocelyn's decision. She's not willing to compromise her morals. But Joss regretfully admits she didn't think there was anything that would make her turn on Dex. Maybe she could have made it work. No. Carly informs her that outside of your kids, pure love doesn't exist. She did what was right for herself. You spared both of you a lot of misery. But doing the right thing isn't always easy. They hug. And back in his room, John takes off his coat and sits just as Anna knocks on his door, I owe you a drink, she says, offering a bottle. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please click like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.